Hello viewers and welcome to Two as One Couples, a program where we discuss matters marriage. Of course, when you talk about marriage, we are talking about the vastness of two people coming together and understanding what the plan of God was for coming together, discovering what his assignment was and how to fulfill it in a way that brings you together as a couple and brings you together as you and God, your relationship with God. And of course, to do this, I have some guests in studio, people who have been uh, tracking this program. They have been following and taking the principles, living them out and experiencing them. So when we discuss this in this show, it's not about just explaining. It's experiencing what God can do mm -hmm. when people take his word and decide to pursue it in their marriage. With me, of course, in studio is... Mvilani Molati. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Eric Mulati. We've been married for five years. Yeah. And so, as we normally say, they are the babies on the show yes. because we, Charles Opio, Susan Opio, have been married 32 years. So, yes. at least, at least, <laughs> we have experienced more problems than them. Yes, yes. Right. yes. And of course, continue. there are many principles that we have carried on yes. the journey. There are yeah. many things that we have learned yeah. in the journey. Yeah. But we love it when we see a couple five years yeah. in marriage yeah. where you say, you know what, I have seen God, I've experienced God, yeah. and you have seen God do for us, ABCD. Yeah. And also when you come to a place of saying, a young couple yeah. like you, yeah. but you have decided, let's yeah. go the way of the kingdom. Yeah. We are not just going to have a marriage yeah. that is just going randomly, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, Eric likes saying that they are intentional and they are deliberate. Okay, let's hear what <laughs> this intentional is. Tell us something yes. that you have learned here. Yeah, so from the show and from what has been going on on the 2 one discussion, you know, there's a profound statement that was made on the show by Mr. Charles and you. And it was that the woman you're married to is not the woman that you're living with. Yes. And so, <laughs> okay. in the five years, that's Let's been true. That eh? yes. <laughs> yeah. The woman that you've mm -hmm. married is not the woman that you're living with. Mm -hmm. And everything should get better with time. Yeah. You know, and, and so for us, we've been, we've been seeking progress mm -hmm. and not perfection. And oh, so yes. one of the things I did, like I responded after I heard that, you know, we've been... We got our, do our daughter four mm -hmm. months ago, and uh, my wife lost weight mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. we got the the child, mm -hmm. and so most of the clothes that used to fit her they no longer, no longer fit, fit her. Yeah. So I was like, okay, will I complain about it, or will I do something about it? Mm -hmm. Will I make her better? Mm -hmm. will, 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 you know, like before, mm -hmm. will I make her better than before, or yes. will, will I make her, you know, raise her profile? So mm -hmm. I said, okay. Let me do something about it. So mm. I decided to, like, take her intentionally, take her, yes. you know, and upgrade her on mm. some of the things. Yeah. And so that's a very profound statement that was made. And for me, it's become very practical. Mm. Every day, I'm looking at what can I do in our marriage to make it better. Mm. What can I do for her? Yeah. Yeah. And maybe the lady can. Yeah. Actually, first, thank you, <laughs> because honestly, <laughs> I, I was wondering what do I wear? I wear clothes. They're not fitting yeah. because I really lost quite some weight. Mm. And uh, then there's the managing, the difference, uh, managing of being a wife, being a new mother, you know, so many things that, yeah. are, that are on my hands. Eh? Mm. So the last thing on my mind really is to just go and buy new clothes. Oh, yes. So mm. he was kind enough mm -hmm. to just say, you know what, let's go. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll help you in this. And that will touch my heart. Mm. And for sure, I was like, you know what? This is not the man, the man I married. Mm. <laughs> the one you're living with now is not the one you married. <laughs> this one, yeah. uh, this one, this, this something has has changed. Something has shifted. Yeah. And it was very clear that it's his interaction with the father. Mm. And so that act of kindness, yeah. you know, moved me mm. because I'm like, you know what? You're actually a good father. Mm. I've seen you through the kindness mm. of my husband. Yeah. Yeah. And so. It causes me to even want to interact with God more. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, when you when you are kind to someone else, it trickles down. It has a trickle down yes. effect. Yes. And so when he upgraded me, mm. he bought me some clothes. I also felt the need to upgrade someone else. Mm. So mm. I, I also bought something for someone else. Mm. And I know that effect will continue like yeah. that. Yeah. I think that's powerful when you talk mm. of the practicality of the word, mm. where you take the word of God and say, you know what, even in the least in my home, mm. we will just use the word. Mm. When it comes to I'm buying a new outfit or I'm buying a new, or you're getting a new hairstyle, sometimes we think, you know what, <laughs> I can do that for myself. God says, you know, if you trust me as a father, from those things that we call, 
the least. But we want to see ourselves as couples coming together and saying we are going to make sure this word, every area of our life. And maybe you can just talk about we as couples. How do we make sure our lives reflect the word of God in mm. every area? Mm, mm. Yeah. And I think I'll draw from some of the statements that, that they're making. And yes. you see that the beautiful thing the Bible says is that, and, and the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Oh, yes. And that means, it simply means that there must be a tangible outcome mm. in everyday life mm. that can be referenced to a word from God. Mm. Where we can say this is that, mm -hmm. that was spoken. Yeah. This is the picture. And I think one of the things I'll, I'll borrow from that same statement that we made about the wife you marry is not the wife you will live with. Mm -hmm. Because living is a continuous activity, marriage is a one-time activity. Okay. So a number of things happen in that window. And I like the analogy. The analogy between the Nzilani who is pregnant and has a child, and then the Nzilani after, and the changes that occur. Mm. Which means, what God is saying is that you are observant of the changes. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can tell where she was at here. Yes. You are observant of where she is at here and what is the requirement here. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that talks volumes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. It talks volumes in the sense that, why does God do that? Mm -hmm. Why does God, and see, many people work in reverse. Mm -hmm. They think you're looking for the wife you will live with when you marry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and say, I always said this, the only thing that starts from the top is when you're digging a grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the only thing that starts from the top. <laughs> There's nothing else that can start from the top. Yeah. <laughs> well, and okay. after that, there's only one way. Mm. Yeah. Deterioration. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to have the sight that everything God puts into my hand should improve in value. Mm. Whether it's a relationship. Yeah. That's the parable of the talents. Mm -hmm. He gives you five, he expects ten. ten yeah. He gives you two, he expects four. Mm. He gives you one, you can't bury it. Mm. Can't. So even in the marriage relationship, it means that the wife I have, as we interact, she improves. Why is that important? Because by the time you meet me with my 32 years of marriage, you cannot know what has been developed to bring us here. Mm. Mm. The processes that brought us here are our protection. So what you are saying is 32 years later, yes. you should not find wrinkles yes. or blemish. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Or sport. Yes. As you're going through your marriage, the one thing you're doing to her is you're making sure as you upgrade her in the spirit as the husband, as you wash her with the water of the word, what does the word do? It will remove the wrinkles. It will remove the blemishes and the spots in her life. And when somebody meets you, I think the question would be, wait a minute, 32? Mm. Maybe somebody is watching and already they are calculating. Mm. Assume <laughs> they got married at 20. Okay, let them, let's give them 18. Yeah. And you know, somebody's calculating. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? Mm -hmm. We say that, look at Sarah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Abraham tells her when you go to Egypt, mm -hmm. when the king sees, when the king sees you, you, I mean, the king was not going to see a girl, uh, a, ma a woman who looks a bit... Yes. <laughs> yes. He must have been pretty. <laughs> must have been pretty yes. yeah. for him yeah. to say that. Yeah. And sure enough, the yes. king saw her. Yes. So what are we saying? As couples, we cannot afford to have a marriage where, of course, as the husband, you are not cultivating your wife. Yes. And when you talk about cultivation, you're not just talking about spiritual. You're talking yeah, about even in the natural. I mean, look at Zilani. I mean, uh, yeah, she's she good. She's good, you know. She's been cultivated. Good job. She's yes. been cultivated. Yes. Yes. The power of it is this. Yeah. That is what removes fear and insecurity. Mm -hmm. I cool. know what it has taken mm -hmm. after 32 years of marriage. Yeah. Part of the reason God does this is to protect us, to remove all insecurities. What yes. does it mean? When I have the 32 years of processing, I know the price we've paid mm. to yes. arrive here. Yeah. That's what gives me comfort and value mm. to know that I can trust you, you can trust me. Yes. Because what has been built is not built overnight. Mm. And what has been fused into our life yes. is so intertwined, mm. I can no longer tell what you did mm -hmm. and what I did. Yes. It is now one big, strong picture. Mm. So the more years that happen, the stronger the strand grows. Yes. The more refined it becomes. Uh -huh. And we stopped seeing each other externally. We stopped mm. seeing so many things. Mm. We begin to see a deeper depth yes. and to begin to walk into that. Mm. So that's what protects a marriage. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as you journey, because... For us, in the last five years, you know, you keep learning and you keep, yes. and there are things you have to leave behind and mm -hmm. there are yes. things you have to carry with you yes. to the next season. Could you kindly just 
okay. expound on that in the 32 years yeah. how have you how have you guys managed to to know this we are leaving behind yeah, yeah. this we are going with so that at at you are when you're moving from your year 31 mm. to your year 32 you are carrying value mm. of 32 years not baggage for yes, 32 that's, years that's that's do you have question. two weeks how long do you have to sit and wait? Yeah. I'll have to take you through that whole story. But I'll try. But I'll try. Yeah. Yeah. The principle is this: mm-hmm. that first of all, initially there's an individualism. Mm-hmm. There is a coming into marriage. With the reason we do what we're doing now mm-hmm. is to save couples mm-hmm. the unnecessary curves. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. The unnecessary pathways that. You see, the problem is you will arrive. You know, mm-hmm. the, the early years, I think we'd been married for about seven years mm-hmm. when God gave us one analogy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, you're on this train. Mm-hmm. This train will arrive. You can arrive screaming, yes. crying, <laughs> sleeping, <laughing>, sleeping. <laughs> Choose how you'll arrive. But you will arrive. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> yes. yeah. so make the journey happy. Yeah. Why yeah. go screaming? Yeah. You, you understand? Yeah. So, with, with, with that analogy in mind, yeah. what are the things that become important? The fact that we each understand that even as we journey, Mm. what will make us stronger together Mm. is the changes we become. Yes. The change I become Mm. will improve you. The change you become will improve Mm. me. So very soon we moved away from waiting for you to change. Mm. To changing Mm. so that you can change. Mm. You see, if if, let me give an example. If we're working together Mm. and you put your hand on my shoulder, if I move down, you move down. Yes. 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 You understand? Yes. It's natural. Yeah. So instead of waiting for you to push me down, mm. no, no, just move down. Yeah. You'll come down. Mm. It's easy. Mm. So that's how we began to do it. Remember, she was Sarai before she was Sarah. Mm. He was Abram before. before he was Abraham. Yes. So their changes created the time until finally because only Abraham and Sarah could have an Isaac. Mm. Uh, Abraham and Sarai. No. Not possible. Mm. What does Abraham mean? Exalted father. Pride. Arrogance. Mm. Many issues. What does Sarai mean? Contention. Always contending with. Mm. Disagreeing. Mm. Then later, Abraham. Father Father. of many nations. Mm. Sarah. Princess with God. An entirely different environment. Something shifts in their personality. Mm. So every journey. So how did we realize it? Every conflict was no longer a place of what's wrong with you. Every conflict was, if you can rub me wrong, why am I so? I still have flesh. Mm, that means there's something that needs to go <laughs> down. And I think also another thing for us mm-hmm. we learned, um, which really helped us, mm-hmm. is the ability or rather the knowledge of how to build an island for ourselves. Mm-hmm. So we build this place for ourselves. We stand in here and then we point at problems. Mm-hmm. So we don't point at each other and say, you have a problem, I have a problem. No. We isolate the problem. Then both of us look at it and say, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. How do we address this problem? Mm -hmm. That way, you avoid calling each other the problem. Because Mm -hmm. if you intertwine the person, your spouse, with the problem, then you will not know where it ends and the problem starts. Mm -hmm. So we have this thing called the island. Mm -hmm. And this island is where now we come and say, from the island, we can point at problems. We can point at things that are trying to separate us. So let me give them an example. We point together. Yeah. Yeah. So Let's, no longer. No, yes. Let me tell you how that works. Mm-hmm. We are one body, right? Yeah. Assume one of us has an anger or a temper problem. Mm-hmm. Then we say, stop. Mm-hmm. We have a temper problem. Mm-hmm. We. Not because you. the problem is affecting mm-hmm. both, both of, of us, us, irrelevant yes. of who is originating mm-hmm. it. Okay? Yeah. So if we have a temper problem, we now ask, how is that problem affecting our yes. future? Mm. and our lives. Mm. Every time it shows wow. up, mm. what happens? Mm. You notice the last time it showed up, we were not talking for three days. Mm. So what do we need to do? Mm-hmm. Get rid of the problem. Yes. Yeah. How do we get rid? Mm-hmm. If I'm the one with the temper, it means you who is normally affected, don't allow the temper to affect you. Yeah. Mm. If I'm the one with the temper, I remember every time to hold it back. Mm. So we are working with each other. Mm. So, I don't bring the problem, and mm-hmm. if say I bring it, don't feed it. Don't feed. Oh. Don't feed monsters. Yeah. Yes, they grow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Why? In the in the in the garden, mm-hmm. there's a serpent. Mm-hmm. In Revelation, it's a dragon. Mm-hmm. Don't feed monsters. Yeah. It has grown. <laughs> what? And, 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 and that's so powerful because 
uh, in Babylon you it creates division mm-hmm. or you have 10 ways to 30 ways to mm-hmm. now here what i'm hearing you say which for me is you know a new perspective mm-hmm. is an internal change mm-hmm. to improve our relationship so maybe mm-hmm. zilani you can actually in line with that eh, i can just uh, talk about what pasi said that uh, it's okay the processing in marriage is okay it's mm-hmm. what fuses you together yes. i think for me uh, when i got married initially i was those ones of like um i don't want conflict i'm tiptoeing you know i'm like i know i know it's ah, no no let's not go down that road or those ones of i didn't want anything that would cause tension you know like any probably financial distress or anything but now as uh, as i get to learn that that is actually good because it moves you from the call to the diamond mm. that processing is important and yes. just to look at it um process uh, positively because i think uh, as when you're newly wedded or as the young people we want things to be fixed fast mm. and when things are not being fixed we're like hey you <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know there's no patience but just to understand you know what this patience is what produces the diamond mm. and appreciating the process mm. yeah and i think for me that has really sunk home I think that's what yeah. Derek you're asking how do you know what to leave mm-hmm. so as you go through this pressure mm-hmm. yes. you say um now I know I have anger mm-hmm. meaning mm-hmm. that thing I have identified mm-hmm. I don't protect it I don't defend mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. I actually say this one I'm leaving it mm-hmm. our target our aim our objective is to come to a position where you say like Christ The prince of this world has come and found nothing, nothing in, in me. me. Mm-hmm. Now there's no way he comes with horns. Mm. I think that's one thing we need to tell you. <laughs> he doesn't come with horns. And he by the way, I am the devil. <laughs> and he doesn't wear red spandex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the devil Without and I'm here to chair, yeah. yeah. He doesn't announce himself. Yes. Yes. It is through such pressure, yeah. through mm-hmm. arguments where you realize, "Wow, I still have um anger. Mm-hmm. I still have bitterness. Mm-hmm. I still have mm-hmm. these things." no more activities reveal who you are on mm-hmm. the inside mm-hmm. and once we realize that this is not a fruit of the spirit it we are quick to say this one we are living it's not easy to let go of temper because if you notice most of the time we reach a place in life where as a married couple we say you know what my wife has temper Whoa. Mm-hmm. and when somebody talks you're like you know what I lo- her. you don't understand my temper mm-hmm. you pride in you've nasted you you're feeding the monster yeah you pride you're growing in it. carnality yeah. it's now you know? a pet yeah. yes so this monster is where we are saying the minute i realize no what you're having now if you continue like this this will become a monster mm-hmm. so what do we do mm-hmm. i come to a place of saying this one i'm leaving mm-hmm. yeah eric there is you you, sh- you sh- just shared about creating an island mm-hmm. now this island is it a time mm-hmm. you set apart mm-hmm. is it a mentality you agree yeah mm-hmm. Well, could you just kindly expound on on the island so that we don't yes. assume we know what an island is all right yeah. okay. I, i think i think the best thing to think of an island first of all the principle of an island is isolation mm-hmm. yes that's the first thing yes so yes all of the things you've said are true mm-hmm. but where do you start as a seed point mm-hmm. a yes. seed point is you begin the island on the basis of a particular issue mm-hmm. not every issue okay yeah. If there's a recurring issue you know you always know we've been down this road before mm. we've had this fight before mm. the, suddenly that is a reason to retreat to an island mm. Mm. it starts there mm. if you eliminate one mm. it becomes a habit mm. You're able to say you remember how we dealt with that this is also arising mm. how do we take it eventually and that's what we are striving at mm. where the island becomes our lifestyle oh yes because you must remember yeah. when we talk of issues in our lives mm. it's not about us too yes. mm. the enemy is there saying this marriage will not make it will not prosper yeah. so the enemy will throw in anger or temper mm. or bitterness or hatred yeah. and all these things is uh, throwing it's to create a gap yes. now when you keep identifying one and realizing this is not a fruit of the spirit mm. we yes. should not be walking with mm. this mm. this should not be found in our midst that mm. way we are able to say let's isolate ourselves and deal with this thing mm. like you are saying it mm. can be a time when we take off to go and discuss it yes. what makes you have that anger and sometimes you discover mm. these are things we grew mm. up with yes. anger is anger is not something you picked up mm. on your wedding day or after the wedding mm. temper is not something it's something you've come with yes. you can see yes. this is a family thing you brought in so we are saying you know what this could have been in this family mm-hmm. now we are saying 
in this family we are building a new culture mm -hmm. a new kingdom culture and in the kingdom culture temper does not belong yes. so as a couple we are actually telling each other let's identify the things that are not found in Galatians, where yes. we are talking of the fruit mm -hmm. of the Spirit, yes. and keep eliminating them. Mm -hmm. Now, you will not eliminate such if flesh is on the way. Mm -hmm. That is why we started by saying a relationship with the Father. Mm -hmm. Because the minute I know the Father, the minute I see Him, flesh is revealed in my life. So mm -hmm. I can see myself and identify where I have flesh. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah. I actually like that you've provided for us a framework mm -hmm. on how to really isolate issues. Yes. I think that's something we've, we've really now been able to unpack well today mm -hmm. and it's something now we are mm -hmm. going to mm -hmm. to really work on mm -hmm. because now we can start with one issue yes we finalize on it go to the next issue mm -hmm. yes yeah so for me it has really hit home yeah yeah that because is something one of the things that you going discover to discuss. that is very strange about the devil yeah mm -hmm. the devil loves combinations mm -hmm. <laughs> concoctions, concoctions yeah. Yeah. because you can you can trigger with anger yeah. while you're still focusing on anger yeah. bitterness shows up oh yes yeah concoctions <laughs> no, yeah. so that's why people don't isolate sisters, yeah. uh, if you don't isolate yeah. the the neighbors will come to help <laughs> They work it, together. You, 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 by yeah. the time you finish, you're like, okay, yeah. wait, where, where did, did we start? start? Yeah. I have no clue where this thing started. <laughs> that you has know? happened. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, that has happened. You're like, no, what are we, what are we fighting about? Yes. What is it? What is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Then you're like, what oh. has happened? Yeah. When you're targeting anger, it yeah. calls for help. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be kicked I'm out. About to be kicked out. <laughs> where are my friends? Where are my neighbors? Yeah. Jesus calls it. Yeah. Seven more, eight more demons stronger yeah, than the, than first, the one. first one. Seven. This is the principle. Yeah. Yeah. They want to work together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you must be sure to always isolate, isolate, isolate. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes we say, look, mm -hmm. we are going to talk about this, mm -hmm. but you can't bring in this. Mm -hmm. Don't bring the, uh, the yes. cousins. If eh? you bring the cousin, <laughs> we have already lost the whole. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is the time when you are saying, couples, where are we at? Yeah. Look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a a good, uh, can I call you a case study? Yeah. Yeah, say five years in marriage. <laughs> but at five years, yeah. they are able to look back and identify mm -hmm. their journey. Mm. I mean, some I people start at 40 years. Yeah. 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 I wish we started yeah. this at five years. Yeah. Yeah. But there are many people who start at 40 years. Mm. Like, let's mm. start. I you can imagine the baggage they have, 40 mm. years. Mm. But five years, years is good enough mm. to look back and say, you know what, let's start this journey. Mm. Mm. Kingdom journey mm. to a place where we are headed to God, our mm. destination mm. in God. And I believe couples, anyone watching this would be looking and saying, you know, mm. I want to start this. This is a good place to start. Mm. As a husband and wife, sit back and ask yourself, do you have troubles in your marriage? Well, if you don't have, I think we have a number down there. <laughs> Talk to us. We want to know how you live. You don't have problems, really? So <laughs> we all know these problems come yeah. and we ask, want to ask ourselves, how do we handle this? How do we come? along with this and say we are going to overcome intentionally and deliberately. This is Two as One Couples. My name is Susan Opio. Keep tracking as we find out how do you have a happy marriage with God intended. Okay.